Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back in tonight's report. Pierre Polyev's wife, Anna Polyev, absolutely ratios Jagmeet Singh yesterday after Jagmeet Singh blamed Pierre Polyev for what happened to him. Also tonight, Pierre Polyev is demanding an election. As we are now finding out, next Wednesday, there's going to be a non-confidence vote here in Canada, which may trigger an early election. Also tonight, new immigrants to Canada have been busted illegally draining our rivers using illegal fishing methods, and the internet is pissed off. And in our last story here, our government appears to be run by absolute crayon eaters, as Stephen Guibault puts out this video to promote his latest agenda, and the internet turns it into a meme. You won't want to miss tonight's story. Stick around. Before we start the report, all I'm asking is you guys to double check if you're still subscribed. YouTube is still unsubscribing you guys from my channel, so please double check and let's start the report. Welcome to your Wednesday report. It is definitely good to be back. Now, yesterday's video caused a lot of controversy with the Jagmeet Singh situation. Now, yesterday, I did anger a lot of you by saying that Jagmeet Singh got the W, but upon thinking about it a little bit more, I don't think I should have been giving Jagmeet Singh a W as he was acting like a tough guy in front of security and police. But what I can tell you, though, is those protesters who choked in front of him definitely took the L. But apparently, I took an L also yesterday because I am a tratter, according to this guy who can't spell. One thing I want to clarify is I don't like Jagmeet Singh. I don't like his politics. But you know who does like his politics? None other than the CBC yesterday who, well, were having a meltdown on air over what happened to Jagmeet. Look, I'm not going to lie. You see these three Karens on the television here? They're not happy. Mr. Singh has had this happen to him before. What was your reaction while you saw? I mean, it's uh, it, it makes you sick to your stomach at a, at a number of levels. First of all, important to to realize and acknowledge and be appreciative of the fact that it did not escalate into violence. Mr. Singh is actually a very physically fit man. I don't. I think he could have handled himself in that. I think he has martial <laughs> arts training as yeah, well, which yeah. uh, so, I wouldn't so tangle with him. No. Let's yeah. Let's let's just you know be grateful for the restraint. The man who lied about hurling that insult is a little weasel, but I'm also very. She's pissed. She's not happy. Very glad that he didn't shove Singh or do something like that, right? It could, it could have gotten very bad very quickly. She's not happy. One thing is for sure is that this event definitely fired up Jagmeet's base. They're absolutely pumped after seeing this clip. But our mainstream media is so out of touch that they are taking it the other way. And before we start giving Jagmeet Singh all this praise about him being a tough guy, let's rewind it to a couple of years ago when his own people confronted him at a fundraiser. And he definitely wasn't so tough over there. We got questions. We're not seeing the what's up. What's up, bro? What's up? We're not. <laughs> Jack Meat ain't tough here. We got questions, man. Kids here, though. Running, fudging thing. That's his new name. Fudging thing. That's a question, bro. Big beat. He's flat beat. The wrong kind. Chuck Meat, I'm wearing a mask, bro. You gotta respect me. Hey, Chuck Meat, don't sell out, bro. Don't sell out. His own people are calling him a sellout. You guys see the meltdown over sellout saying his own People are calling him a sellout here. Oh, don't sell out. Where are you going? Where are you going, pussy? <gasps> pussy. You're selling out, Chuck Me. Sell out thing, bro. You sold out a gone, bro. Wow. They're blasting him for being a sellout. Oh, oh no, you sold out a gone. Wow. Not so tough now, eh? 
I'll never forget that clip. So after this incident went absolutely viral yesterday all over social media, Jagmeet Singh put out this tweet. Here is his official statement over what happened. By now, you've probably seen the video. For 10 days now, bullies in Ottawa have been spewing hate, harassing Canadians who don't agree with them. An indigenous woman being called a Nazi, staff being harassed, journalists being yelled at. That's the country Pierre Polyev wants. He's pinning this on Pierre Polyev. Me, I believe everyone should feel safe walking our streets. I believe we need to stand up to bullies and shut down hate. Canadians believe in lifting each other up, not tearing each other down. Stand with us. Now, this tweet has been seen 1.1 million times with 11,000 likes. Now, what happens next is absolutely great because Pierre Polyev's wife chimes in and absolutely ratios Jagmeet Singh. Anna Polyev puts this tweet out here, I am sorry you were harassed today. Of course it shouldn't be that way. There's better language and a time and place to debate policies and what's best for our country. Mr. Singh, what country are you exactly suggesting my husband wants? People out there are hurting, and yes, they are angry, but my husband has not been the man in charge for the last eight years. Boom. That's your friend Justin Trudeau. People didn't wake up angry one day without reason. The policies implemented by the government that you support have caused much harm. Why are criminals released so easily? Why are so many court cases tossed? You want safe streets? Then why are you continuously supporting the harmful liberal policies that caused this mess. You want to talk about the country Pierre Polyev, my husband, wants? Then listen to his policies and actually watch the man he is. I'm tired of you and your friends portraying my husband as someone he is not. Yes, that's a real woman right there standing up for her man. Beautiful. He married a Latino woman and fully embraces my culture. He married a strong woman and is proud of it. He supports, celebrates, and promotes strong women around him. He is a loving father of two and incredibly protective of our young, vulnerable daughter. He loves to read books to baby Cruz. Just tonight, he was re reading Le Petit Prince to him. The country my husband wants is a country where hard work pays off so that blue-collar workers like cabinet makers like my brother don't have to choose between rent or food, where housing is affordable so that immigrants can adapt to their new home and actually afford one, like my parents were able to do so many years ago, a country that is proud, and where our military men and women are supported because it is only fair that we support the people willing to give their lives for our country and freedom like my other younger brother. Mr. Singh, the only person you have to blame for the current state of our country and people's moods and desperation is the man currently char in charge and those who keep him in charge. What an absolutely perfect statement to put out. And guess what? She ratioed Jagmeet Singh with half the views that Jagmeet has, where Anna has 12,000 likes with 660K views, and Jagmeet has 11,000 likes with 1.1 million views. Quite the ratio. And after, you know, getting ratio, Jagmeet Singh is fundraising off this event, which, you know what, is pretty smart. I would have done the same thing. And he puts out this tweet here today saying, if you're sick of conservatives trying to tear us apart with their bullying and hate, stand with us. That's what's up. Like he said in that dude's face. Cringe. Coward, you're not going to say it to my face. That's what's up. That's what's up pretty much a terrible campaign slogan. I hope he sticks to it. Now, this entire video by Jagmeet has been debated on the internet ad nauseum. Jagmeet W, Jagmeet L, everyone has an opinion. But one thing I think we can all agree on is that the Leafs always choke. And the fact that this dude is wearing a Leafs hat and choking in front of Jagmeet it's pretty poetic. So that's the latest on the Jagmeet drama. Now let's move things over to Pierre Polyev, who today announced that there's going to be a non-confidence vote next week in Canada, and we may actually get ourselves an early election. After nine years of this NDP liberal government, they've doubled the debt, doubled housing costs, caused the worst inflation in 40 years, sent 2 million people to the food bank, unleashed crime and chaos in our communities. 
That's why it's time to put forward a motion for a carbon tax election. A carbon tax election needed because the NDP Liberals plan to hike the carbon tax by 300% all the way to 61 cents a litre, which would cripple our economy, put hundreds of thousands of people out of jobs, mean empty shelves at grocery stores. We need a carbon tax election so Canadians can vote to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime with a common sense conservative government. Hasn't the block just no, hasn't the finished, if I could just finish. Um, the, uh, the decision will be up to uh, Jagmeet Singh and the NDP. Are they going to vote to keep this costly carbon tax prime minister in power? Are they, going to, are they going to sell out again? Or are they going to vote to trigger a carbon tax election so that Canadians can choose to ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. And I also call on the NDP, don't wait for the bloc to bail you out. You need Announce to your though, position you? on this motion to trigger a carbon tax election now. You have the motion, it's in your inbox, we're emailing it to him now, and all of you will have that motion for a carbon tax election, which you'll see is very direct, very simple, and provides Canadians hope that we can bring home the country that we knew and love, where we axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop Monsieur the Poilier, le gouvernement. And after this motion was put in place and Pierre spoke with the reporters, well, I got some breaking news here from the Bloc. The Bloc leader announces that he's going to vote in favor of Trudeau. He has actual confidence in his government and on behalf of French people I would like to apologize to all of Canada we're not all like this guy an absolute snake now when this election finally does happen apparently the left are very confident because their latest conspiracy theory says that Pierre Paul Liev is going to drop out of the race read this one here from Kobe I'm often asked why do you think he Trudeau doesn't resign, and honestly, I think he has information that will be released once an election is called, which will force Pierre to drop out. Wow, he's just waiting for the right moment to do it. I can't see any other reason. And it's not just Kobe pushing the left's latest conspiracy, there's actually others. <laughs> According to this guy, Steve, make no mistake, the liberals have big dirt on Polyev that they won't release until the election writ is dropped. They're just playing the game until that election writ is dropped. And this guy says, same reason the NDP ended the agreement. Both parties know the conservatives are cooked. What? It's funny how, as Pierre Polyev gets more popular, the left gets crazier. They're now the party of, we don't believe the polls, the media is completely fake, and they're now pushing conspiracies to make themselves feel better. Kind of crazy. It's so funny the confidence the left has going into this next election when it's so clear that everything's falling apart all around them, including today where we found out that Pablo Rodriguez, our transport minister, is leaving the government. The liberals are imploding. They're now pushing this Pierre Polyev dirt narrative. I can't wait to see what they come up with. But it's literally funny because they're doing the meme where the dog is in the room saying that everything is fine while everything is burning around them. I swear they are in a cult. In our next story of the night, we got to talk about this clip that's going absolutely viral from Bowensville. I believe it's near Oshawa, where Canadian newcomers are now illegally fishing in our rivers. This is truly wild. You guys know that's very illegal, eh? You guys know this is very illegal, what you guys are doing? Apparently, it's, it's salmon that are spawning in this river, too. Look at that bad boy right here that they caught with that net. What you guys are doing? Wow. What's your guys' names? Well, they're not. They're, they don't look very Canadian. You're netting fish, yeah. You're netting fish, which is extremely illegal. You go to jail for that. Do you guys understand that? 
I've been videotaping you guys for a while. What's your guys' names? So this guy has a fishing rod from the looks of it, but no, they're 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 going with the illegal method. This is truly wild. This <laughs> wow. What has Canada become, honestly? Import the third world and you become the third world. This is how they fish in their villages back home. And I'm just going to put a guess out there. I'm going to assume they're probably doing this because they're poor. When I was growing up, the newcomers in our country never did this kind of stuff. They were pre-qualified to come here. They had qualifications. They were going to provide value to our country. But now we have people who are here sucking every resource out of our country, including draining our rivers. But thankfully, this has caught the attention of the Ministry of Natural Resources, and these people are being investigated. But I do have a happy end to this story, as apparently the conservation officers and the wardens are tossing out fines to these people at this river. They're actually being punished for this. And in our last story of the night, Stephen Guibo is trying new things in communications and political comms as he puts out this absolutely cringe video. Let's go watch it because what happens next is actually funny. Okay. <laughs> Kapolyev has been the leader of the Conservative Party for two years. <gasps> But did you know that he voted 400 times <gasps> against protecting the environment and Canadians? He put it on paper. It's so much worse. All he has to offer are empty slogans. Oh my God. He talks about technology as a solution. <laughs> Stephen posted this video thinking he's a genius, by the way. This is so bad. Moving to climate change, but voted against every measure we've put in place to support technological development. What he wants to do <gasps> is eliminate investments in a cleaner future for Canadians. He put it on clean paper. Air and clean water. It's bad. What is this plan? Cut, cut, cut. cut. Oh my God, Stephen. He doesn't Steven. even want to have the conversation about how Canadians are being impacted by climate change. He wants to ignore the impacts of floodings, forest fires, and heat waves. But we are on the right track. <laughs> on track to meet our goals. We can meet our 2030 targets. We can provide a cleaner future for our kids and grandkids. But we're the only party, the only government that has a plan to do so. And don't give a free pass to Pierre Poliev as he would. I like how he puts the X over the free pass here. Very uh, powerful stuff, Stephen. Would give a free pass to big polluters in this country. He's serious, folks. He brought out the papers. Truly unbelievable. And Cat Canada puts it perfectly here. They never learn LOL. They literally just gifted us a new meme template. Let's go see what the internet had to produce. All right, I haven't pre-screened them. We're just gonna scroll down the comments. Okay, him in an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> 222 minutes says, you don't even need a meme template where he just puts empty slogans. That's a good burn. No amount of money you give the government will ever change the weather. <laughs> the greed movement is like a watermelon green on the outside, but communist red in the middle. Wow. <laughs> I won't read this one. Might get demonetized on the video. <laughs> oh, this one, I belong in jail. Or this one with uh, Z as uh, Winnie the Pooh. My ideology burned Jasper to the ground. <laughs> this one, drink more soy. I like it. Oh, this one here, uh, advertising uh, Canada's uh, joy here, the safe supply of Justin Trudeau. I love CO2. I love the World Economic Forum. I am so fucking... I, I'm not, I'm not going to read that, but you can read it on the screen. Oh, man, these are good. <laughs> I'm stupid. My butt smells and there's poo in my... Okay, this is just getting dumb now. All right, so that's the latest here out of Canada. But tell me in the comments down below, did Pierre Polyev's wife absolutely cook Jagmeet Singh with that reply? What did you guys think about her words? Is she truly Pierre Polyev's secret weapon? Also, the illegal fishing in Bowmansville, Ontario. How do you guys feel about that? Am I not being very understanding of their cultures? Or is this just plain wrong? Tell me in the comments down below. All right, if you want to support me, like, share, subscribe, buy membership, five Canadian dollars. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Should I do it? Uh, do not come. I'm going to do it.
Do not come. I'm going to come.